If God has called you to be truly like Jesus in all your spirit, he will draw you into a life of crucifixion and humility. He will put on you such demands of obedience that you will not be allowed to follow other Christians. In many ways, he seems to let other good people do things which he will not let you do. Others who seem to be very religious and useful may push themselves and pull wires and scheme to carry out their plans, but you cannot. If you attempt it, you will meet with such failure and rebuke from the Lord as to make you sorely penitent. Others can brag about themselves, their work, their successes, and their writings, but the Holy Spirit will not allow you to do such things. If you begin to do so, He will lead you into some deep mortification and will make you despise yourself and all your good works. Others will be allowed to succeed in making great sums of money or having a legacy left to them or in having luxuries, but God may supply you only on the day-to-day -day basis, because he wants you to have something far better than gold, a helpless dependence on him and his unseen treasury. The Lord may let others be honored and put forward while keeping you hidden in obscurity because he wants to produce some choice, fragrant fruit for his coming glory, which can only be produced in the shade. God may let others be great, but keep you small. He will let others do a work for him and get all the credit. But he will make you work and toil without knowing how much you are doing. Then to make your work still more precious, he will let others get the credit for your work, which have done none. This is to teach you the message of the cross, humility, and something of value of being cloaked with his nature. The Holy Spirit put a strict watch on you, and with a jealous love, rebukes you for the careless words and feelings, or for wasting time, which other Christians never seem distressed over. So make up your mind that God is an infinite sovereign, and He has a right to do as He pleases with His own, and that He may not explain to you a thousand things which may puzzle your reason in His dealings with you. God will take you at your word. If you absolutely sell yourself to be a slave, he will wrap you up in a jealous love and let other people say and do many things that you cannot. Settle it forever. You are to deal directly with the Holy Spirit. He is to have the privilege of tying your tongue and chaining your hand and closing your eyes in ways which others are not dealt with. However, know that this great secret of the kingdom when you are so completely possessed with the living God that you are, and your secret heart pleased and delighted over this peculiar and personal, private, jealous guardianship and management of the Holy Spirit over your life, you will have found a vestibule of heaven, the high calling of God.